What's up folks, Man Amazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to get our character um, speed, speed mechanic working, or sprint mechanic rather. Uh, some camera movement, some basic jumping, and yeah, let's get to it. All right, so the last video we left off with adding the two components that you guys get in the toolbox. And if you haven't did that already, go ahead and download that from my gum road or watch the first video to see how to get it. Every one or two videos, I will, I will be updating those scripts with what we do here in the videos. And then you guys over time will see just extra stuff in there that you guys can use. So let's take them to the controller. Let's open up default movement. All right, and the first thing we want to do is create a few variables. So we want to create uh, one, two, and a vector three. That's going to use that for the jump. So we're going to call this. We're actually going to create another one. We're going to call this one current move speed. We're going to call this one max. Well, actually, sorry, let's call this max move speed. I'm sorry. And we want to change the current one to sprint speed because we already have a move speed uh, right here. So, all right, so we need to get an input. This one should be pretty straightforward. We're going to get an input handler. We're going to call this one sprint. And if you are using my input binding, that's the name I put for the uh, left shift button. If you made your own, then of course you name it whatever you named it. All right, so with sprinting, what we basically want to do is just set our current movement speed to the speed of our sprint. So over here, we can actually expose these real quick. Um, this one, and we're gonna name this Jump Force. And uh, where's the max move speed? Where's the other one? That way, there we go. All right, so we want to get the move speed. So we want to get the the max move speed and the move speed should be the same. Let's get that out the way. We just don't want to directly change the current move speed, so we're using the max variable. So we're going to take sprint speed. We want to get that. And we want to take move speed and we want to set that. All right, so held, we want to, let's move that up some. We want to set the move speed to sprint speed, real simple. And then when we release it, because most, you know, most games you are holding a sprint button until you run out of stamina or whatever the case, so we want to get the max move speed. We want to get that. I want to duplicate this actually. And when we release it, we're gonna get the max move speed and set that back to the current move. Real simple. All right, now there's a number of ways we can do this. We can even actually, um, uh, we can actually even tie it into the value of the zero to one with the uh, value here if we wanted to. Uh, we can lerp it from the current move speed to the sprint speed to give it like a smooth transition. Um, we might do that in bonus videos for those who like the way it looks, especially when you have animations for like third person or whatever the case. But this works for now, especially for first person. So if we close out of that, and we look down, we have an extra few. So max move speed, we're gonna set it to 300 as well, which is what it currently is. And we're gonna set sprint speed to 600. Maybe, it'd be, well, we want it to be noticeable. So let me set that to 800 so it's noticeable, but in reality, you wouldn't set it this high unless you're doing a fast paced, high octane first person shooter. All right, and if we hit play, it should, we should hold shift and it should give us some speed. All right, so let's move and hold shift. Yep, 
let go, stops, shift, let go, slows back down, speeds up. Cool. All right, we got that out the way. Let's open default movement back up. Let's go above and we're going to add a jump uh, functionality. So let's add another input handler. And I named this one jump. With this, we're just going to take the uh, Z axis. So let's go to this and go to world Z. I'm going to go on unpressed. And we're going to multiply this by the jump force. So let's get jump force. Let's actually move this up some more. And from here, since we're using a vector three, we want to multiply that by a number. So the node that we need is multiplied by number. All right, we're gonna take this, plug it in. Take this, ah, plug it in, move it over. All right, and then we just want to add force, or impulse rather. So let's save that, close out of it. And now our jump force, we wanna jump in the Z axis. So I'm going to put that at 15, was the best one I tried, I believe. Now, if I move, let hit space bar, have a jump. But as you see, if I move and try to jump, jump straight up. And we're gonna be fixing that in the future videos. Um, but yeah, we have jumping and now we have sprinting. The last thing we want to work on is getting our player to rotate. So we want to go to our first person camera and we want to go ahead and add a script canvas. And now I have a script here. I have two, but they're empty for the purpose of these videos. So let's do X, open that up. So you can, you can name it whatever you want. I have it as camera rotation X because we're going to have separate scripts for the uh, X axis and the Y axis. So let's open that up. All right, and the first thing we want to do is get an input handler. So we're gonna call this one mouse X. And that's what I have it in the input binding. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a few variables. One is Rotate speed, and let's uh, double case that P. We're gonna expose on component. We're gonna drag it out, we're gonna get, and we wanna go down, or up rather, into the math area under number and get multiply. Sorry, it's not under there yet. It's actually right above it. Multiply, we want to, sorry, not pressed, held. Come on, I held. First value is the uh, the value for the input. And actually, I was too hasty. Let's put that down there, that up there, that up there. All right, and the same as before, we can do it a number of different ways. We can directly rotate it by the Z or we can rotate it by an Euler angle. Euler angle, sorry. <laughs> and uh, for to do that, we need to get a create from value, vector three. We wanna rotate on the X axis and we're going to return that vector three and plug it in here. Now we're going to save that. Let's go to YouTube Sandline. Boom, boom, boom. 
I'm gonna override the that one. Yes. And let us not forget to add the target. So let's go ahead and get that. We want to close that out and plug that in. Hit that. Now let's resave. You can actually delete this. If you want to use around the uh, Z axis, it's just a matter of preference and how you handle things going forward. But it's like I said, programming is multiple ways to do one thing. So let's close that one. I'll save it again. And now make sure that your cam speed is at a reasonable level. Make sure you're dragging the whole uh, controller to target. Let's hit play. And now we should have rotation. So if I rotate and move, this rotates the whole player. And sorry, my the, the surface that I'm using is kind of too glossy for my mouse, so it's going to be a little jaggedy, but it should be smooth for you guys. All right. Cool. Now, so we're going to add the Y axis and then we're going to leave it open for uh, proper clamping in the future once I get some more feedback from Lumberyard or Amazon rather or Amazon Lumberyard. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and add that script canvas a second one on the on the camera right under the x and let's open that graph we're going to pretty much do the same thing i'm probably going to do it the other way to give you guys another way to do it um but the same thing applies let's go to gameplay input handler we're going to call this mouse x or sorry mouse y we're going to create hey not an entity sorry we don't want to create an entity because we actually only want to move the camera up and down. So using self is the proper way to go. I'm going to add a number for cam Y speed. And yeah, I think that's it. So let's get that out. Or around, sorry, local X. Do that, hit save. We want to go ahead and do the same thing. Yes. All right, let's close out of that. We want to point to it. Ah, maybe if we made our variable exposed. Save. There we go. Do the same thing. It's point zero one. Hit play, and we should get a uh, lookup type action. Yep. See, but see, as you can see, we have too much rotation, and we can't clamp it. But we have to look that way, and we have the rotation. So when we're, you know, when we're traversing the world, and we have a weapon, and we can look up, we can look side to side. I really wish I didn't have this surface that I'm working on. But as you can see, it can get a little bit weird if you don't have a clamp for up and down. You know, it can get really weird. So um, we actually will probably want to time this down just a little bit more. Maybe add this too much, but you can see it make it a little bit easier to navigate. All right. All right, guys, so we got speed working. We got the player jumping. We got the player rotating left and right, uh, looking up, up and down. We're going to modify and be perfecting those scripts in the future, but it's, it should give you guys an idea of moving around and how to traverse a landscape if you have that built or a corridor or whatever the case. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Don't forget to share the video. Also, follow me on social media if you can. I'm, I post a lot of my videos there in case you guys don't get a notification on YouTube. Also, remember to join Discord uh, in the description below. I'm trying to build my community up over there so you guys keep in touch with me, ask me questions directly, 
at pretty much any time of the day. You guys can have an idea of, of my projects, my assets, any of that. You know, you guys can talk about game dev, talk about other engines, whatever the case. Just trying to build a community around game development in, you know, a chill place. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are prospering in your projects. And always remember to keep developing.